So what's an open house about anyway? Typically when you're going to an open house as a buyer, you're going to be looking at a property where the seller is not going to be there. You have an opportunity to view the property at your own leisure and gives you a little bit more time to look at the property a little bit more thoroughly. But there's a few things that you may want to consider when you are viewing that property. Oftentimes, things that we're seeing currently with today's technology is that sellers are putting in audio or video in their home to be able to record what is happening in their home while they're not there. Sometimes this is to protect belongings. Sometimes they just want to know what's going on. But most importantly, as the buyer, you need to be aware of that and know that sometimes your comments, things that you may say about the home, the decor, can ultimately go back to the seller and may not have a positive opinion with them uh, when it comes down to writing your offer. So when you're out viewing an open house, always be respectful of that. Keep in mind that you may be on audio, on video, and just be aware of the things that you say. Some things can ultimately hurt you when you're going to write an offer where you can always talk about these things once you leave the property, kind of talk amongst yourselves and whatnot. From the seller perspective, a few things that you can do when you do your open house with your agent is to remove a lot of your personal belongings that may not be necessarily smart to leave out for everyone. Uh, make sure that you're putting away any jewelry, uh, any kind of firearms, make sure that it's safe for the home. Uh, if anything comes up missing any valuables, prescriptions, uh, anything like that can really become an issue ultimately. So make sure that when you're preparing your house for the open house to put those belongings away in a more secure spot or even better if you're able to just remove them from the property altogether. Another thing that you also want to consider is this is going to be the first impression for a lot of buyers to view your home. You'll have a little bit of time to prepare for that open house so you can really make your home stand out. Make sure you do that last cleaning before you leave the property for your agent to hold the open house, just so that your home really shows its best. There's nothing worse than when you walk into an open house and you can tell that they left in a hurry, nothing's really been prepared. Where if you walk into a home that everything's neat, orderly, and looks nice, it really makes a significant difference to a buyer. So if you are looking to host an open house, or you're going to be holding an open house at your property, make sure that you take these tips into mind and I hope to work with you soon.